Today is a special day. I am being taught by my granddaughter, my youngest granddaughter, one of my youngest, and we are going to do a caterpillar on a um, flower. Now these are the colors that we've picked out, but this is your painting, so you can pick out any colors that you like. Now, <clears throat> she's going to show me how to start. So, we're going to pick up our red, because we're going to have a red flower, okay? And we're going to put this flower down here at the bottom of the page, so you only see part of it. She's making hers more wavy than I'm making mine. Okay, and then I put mine on the side, but you can fill yours in any way that you would like. Oops, wait a minute, we got to put the middle of the flower in or we'll cover it up. Okay, now we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because you can fill this in yourself. You can take your fingers and smooth it in like this if you like or if you like it kind of rough looking you can leave it that way now <coughs> do we outline the the middle yes okay so it'll stand out better yeah so you can really see it okay and then she fills it in like this okay and the flower is is finished. What do we do next? Well, I'm having to wait. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm trying to. <clears throat> okay, just take your fingers and smooth it in. See, that's quicker. There you go. There. All right, now, what do we do next? Make the little boxes? little boxes. Do we curve them up or? Up or down, any way you want. Do we need to put them close together? No. Take two boxes and draw pupils. Two boxes. And draw the eyes? Yes, draw pupils. And there you boxes. go. Okay. Now start bouncing. And we bounce over the top of the boxes. And then the bottom. Okay, then we're going to put little feet. Yep. We have sort of started coloring the caterpillar. Mine is going to be green, and then it's, I can't decide what to do. I think I'm going to make him, make the spots on him purple. You can, of course, make yours any color that you like. Now, I kind of like to have a little bit of white around mine. Now, I took the black and finished his head. Just kind of made it look like a, a football. And then we're going to make some good size antennas on him. Like that. And Grace Ann told me to not forget his smile. So there's his smile. I think I might make him... A yellow face. This is kind of a wild looking one. And also, now, what do we always say? Here's this poor caterpillar in the middle of this beautiful flower, but look, he's surrounded by white. So, I'm going to take a little bit of blue and I'm going to give him some blue sky back up here. You know, just to fill him in some and put some under him too because he just don't want to leave him out here all by himself. No. 
course, she has made hers much more elaborate than mine. Mine is quite simple, but you can go back in and you can put, you know, 